Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly energy reading for August 29th to September 4th, 2019. I had to look at the date uh, twice because they've been um, going back and forth about the date. So this could be around the time of this week for the energy surrounding people born around the time of Sagittarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Sagittarius Sun. But of course it can include that rising moon, Venus, Mars, increasingly I'm using Saturn and Jupiter as well. And of course this doesn't have to apply, I'm not getting a specific period of time, but the energy of concentration that I'm fixating on is around the um, that those calendar dates within six to 10 days. So it may have just happened, will happen, or is happening as you watch this, I don't know. There's a lot of scattered energy with um, Sagittarius right now. I would liken the sign to spokes on a wheel or a bicycle wheel that has a bunch of spokes um, going outward, outward, outward in many directions. And um, hence the many directional title of the theme of the week as well, or the concentration of energy around this reading, where the wind blows, very, carefree, fancy free, or care less, depending on uh, your perspective, Sagittarius or cross watchers. Obviously, this is a general reading, and um, it's not going to apply to everyone. But for those who I am concentrating on, this may have uh, much to say. And I'm very happy to announce that I have weekly readings uh, as well for video on demand. So if you want an extended reading for this, uh, weekly energy reading, click on the link below and purchase it because it's available for uh, you. And once, if you purchase it rather than rent it, it's yours forever. So you can refer to it. It doesn't have to apply to this week, but certainly it can apply. Um, okay, so where the wind blows, very scattered energy, very scattered title. Um, another title is March Rescue. So for some of you, there may be a rescue you've been waiting for in March. Um, I'm thinking financially, or um, you may rescue someone, I'm feeling financially. Um, uh, again, I can go more into detail about that in the extended reading. And then Try Again was just added as an additional title, which is unusual because um, the try again aspect for Sagittarius has to do with the scattered leaves feeling, which leads me to believe that this scattered energy, if you're not feeling it right now, Sagittarius, if you have an unusual amount of focus, which um, is interesting if you have those placements in your chart, that's fine. But what I'm getting, I'm really feeling distracted here. Like it really feels like Sagittarius does not know which way it's going. Um, so hence the try again, and maybe it's there for a reason. The scattered leaves usually are happening in the fall season in the Northern hemisphere. So that may also pertain to you feeling this way around, um, sort of, I'm getting mid autumn, not really the beginning of autumn, which starts on, um, the fall, uh, I guess equinox. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, September 21st, thereabouts, September 20th, September 21st. I'm not getting around there. I'm getting more around October 1st to October 20th. Uh, again, jumping ahead, this isn't part of the weekly, but this is the energy where this, maybe this incident would start now with Sagittarius and then um, it would culminate the real core of the issue that maybe is causing the scattered feeling would culminate around the 1st to the 20th. I'm feeling like maybe there's something legal involved here with at least one of you that might have to do with, um, I'm just going to say it, a lawsuit. I hope it doesn't involve you, but um, maybe that has to do with the March Rescue sub-theme as well, or additional theme. Um, but no, I'm feeling like it's, um, it might be a small claims court thing, or it might be um, under under $10,000. In fact, I'm getting it's an under $5,000 thing, but it feels like there may be an accident that was your fault. I'm sorry to say. Um, but, you know, it's where the wind blows. It might 
also mean it blows over because what I'm getting is like this feeling of like uh-oh I screwed up I made a mistake something happened another person or persons were affected and this does feel like a small car collision I'm getting so there's a risk for about 20 of you you might want to get your um, insurance re-upped um, in the next 10 days or so I really you know but forewarned is forearmed so consider me maybe the oracle to tell you about something ahead of time maybe get your engine checked maybe get your oil checked keep your car clean um what i'm feeling is like you need sagittarius or those with sagittarius placements in their charts not so much for cross watchers but um cross watchers this would apply to you if you have someone with heavy sagittarius sun moon or rising in their chart um as a observer of this so you may have i'm getting like a roommate energy or someone who lives in your home who may not be related to you at least by blood so i'm not getting spouse energy i'm not getting significant other it feels like a roommate or a guest or if it is a relative it feels like an uncle like once removed not immediate family but it feels like the household in which you live, if you are cross-watching, would have someone with Sagittarius energy or heavy fire in their chart that caused something to happen where you were a witness. Oh, a small claims type thing, like $5,000 and under worth of, ooh, ooh, and I'm getting petty theft for one of you. Meaning you were a bystander, it was not you, but you know someone or you saw someone who was intimate with you take something either from your room or from someone else's room and you didn't say anything. So I'm feeling it's like a dorm room theft or something where people are living in close quarters but who are not related. So it could apply to like if you were in um, basic training and you were in your cot at basic training and, and like they thought you didn't see them or you walked in on someone while they were stealing something which i'm told is kind of common like people stealing from other people it doesn't have a summer camp feel it feels like basic training like stuff gets stolen sometimes um but it feels more like a dorm room theft but it has that kind of military vibe so it could be a military school of some kind or a school where the military training is heavily influenced and that person maybe have military energy around them. It's male. It's male energy. It doesn't feel female. but Or they could just be very masculine energy. But um, it feels like those of you who are cross-watching witness something. Those of you with Sagittarius in your chart, I'm feeling like most of you didn't do this, but unless it was an accident. But you all need to pay attention to this. Like, if anything like this happens and you're either a bystander or a witness to an accident, especially a car crash or a car with a bicycle crash or a car with a, you know, an accident. I'm getting that no one is really injured. There might be a neck injury where somebody has to wear a brace, but nothing much else. But that they, the defendant, not the defendant the plaintiff who is charging the person who did this even if it's an accident will probably go overboard in order to ask for what they want they realize that this is probably well if it's a neck brace situation it's probably not a small claims court thing it's probably something else um but if there's no physical injury to a person sustained it's just an automobile crash of some kind or a vehicle crash of some kind, or a dorm room theft, petty theft, military school theft, basic training theft, um, you may have to answer to it. You may have to answer to a person who is hypercritical and either accusing you of something that is not your responsibility, or it was just an accident and they're gonna come at you like you meant to do it in order to get more money. They are being told by their lawyers that that's what they need to do. But I'm feeling like four or five of you, that has nothing to do with this reading. <laughs> and we'll talk about um, the rest of that in, in, as it pertains to try again in the extended reading, if you wanna take a look. This is my first attempt, I can't guarantee anything, but um, 
hopefully you enjoy that and it's useful to you and value of value to you um, I'll give you a hint of things to come with the other than the March rescue I'm feeling like again the March rescue was more pertaining to where the wind blows um, accidents that happen with a vehicle or petty theft again under five thousand dollar things um, that you will either see a payout from something like that in the beginning of March and or around the Ides of March, i.e. the 15th of March, a notorious time historically. Uh, and that's funny that they're saying that because it's a um, famous phrase from Julius Caesar, beware the Ides of March, which is when he was killed, stabbed in the front and stabbed in the back by his so-called friends, right? So um, I don't feel like it's a friendship loyalty thing with Sagittarius. They're too quick and they get over things too fast to hold grudges. But um, I do feel like either the payout comes out in March, because you know these things get drawn out. Sometimes it takes a long time for either an insurance company to pay up or the theft to be you know, removed as a case off the blotter or um, the, the crime is solved, everything is settled between the two parties. I'm feeling like a mediator might need to come in um, with both of you. I'm feeling like it's no more than three people involved with these things. And it, mostly it's going to be like two people where one is a witness or two people where one person gets in the accident by an accident, not of their own doing, not through negligence. And then the other person might sustain a neck or back injury, but not a life-threatening one, not a long-term one. Uh, one that probably needs a look at, but is not serious. It was stopped just in time. And they're saying Providence stopped the car. So for one of you, they're going to say, yes, my guides are saying, yes, that was divine intervention. The one that almost killed the guy. And if this resonates with you, please leave... Um, a confirmation below this is pretty dramatic what I'm saying but those of you who suspect what that was you know it I'm speaking to you about that um, but more about try try again is about starting over as a hint of things to come and I'll cover that in the extended reading it's not really for here it's it's more extended uh, there's a certain section of you or a sector of you who are feeling like you're having a, ch a second chapter in your life, you're getting a do-over in a good way, you're getting a second opportunity, well done, my guides are saying. For those of you who are getting a second start and you're off to the races and it's starting out well, well done, because that'll work out really well for you. It's wisdom you've gained and action you have at your disposal that's your greatest power. If you hesitate, if you wait, you'll miss out on the opportunity. So that also applies to you if you know who you are. Um, I'm feeling like it has to do with a small business. I'm feeling like I'm seeing a food cart. I'm seeing food. I'm seeing small business owner who's up at dawn and down at sunset. And, um, and there it's like a Mexican food cart and it's really good. It might be gourmet. I'm not sure. Or it might be taking, um, Mexican recipes and giving them a twist or making them vegan or something. And it's about funding or it's about um, opening the business or it's about opening the cart soon and they're saying your hard-fought wisdom taught you that the lessons learned made you wait which is hard for a fire sign I know especially for Sagittarius because their brain is always working always working very quick and um, but you did due diligence you did you waited you got the permits you got everything my guides are saying it's clear it's clear the food inspector is clear everything's a plus you're good to go. Opening starts tomorrow is what I'm getting. So uh, not not tomorrow when I'm recording this, but soon if you see this, okay? So congratulations on your new business. I hope you do really well. It feels really good. The food feels like it tastes really good. I'm also uh, Claire Gustatory, so I can taste things. I love Mexican food. Aces, very good. You'll do well. Uh, people will be nice. Don't worry, you'll do well. And uh, more in the extended readings link below. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon.